Vandals have been using the unrest in Egypt as an excuse to steal or damage artifacts from Cairo's museums. YNN Scott Patterson spoke with some local experts who say any damage done goes far beyond Egypt. It's one of the cradles of human civilization, which means Egypt's museums house some of the world's oldest objects. They're just so intriguing as an expression of human uh, understanding. Rochester's Memorial Art Gallery has a collection of Egyptian artifacts. They were made to fit the tomb of a man called Pa Debehu Aset. But nothing compared to the museums of Cairo. The quantity and numbers and, and significance is just un almost unbelievable. Which is why MAG Assistant Curator of Education, Sidney Graves, is so distressed to see Egyptian museums being looted. It's horrifying. Um, the idea of something happening like that, that, that people could take these incredibly old, one-of-a-kind objects. These objects are often very delicate. Uh, they require expert and specialist uh, handling. RIT archaeology professor Andrew Moore travels the world preserving artifacts. Now, often great damage will be done to delicate uh, objects that cannot ever be truly repaired thereafter. And it's not like you can just replace something that's been broken. Take this Sphinx for example, you could easily make a new head and put it on, but it would take away from the historical value. It changes the history, it changes the story of that object. Graves and Moore both say they're encouraged by Egyptians who have formed human chains around the Cairo Museum to protect their country's history. For the last 5,000 years, we've had a continuous story of human cultural uh, development right down to the present uh, day, and Egyptians are very conscious of this deep uh, heritage. But given the current threat of looting and theft, it's not just Egypt's history that's at stake. All that speaks for the people of the past is their art, their architecture, the artifacts that they leave behind. Um, and that's why these objects are not just important to the, to the Egyptian people, which they are, which they should be, but to, to all of us. Scott Patterson, YNN.